this is a top of a sundress and I'm trying to use it as a binder that holds ice so here's the ice pack in the back it's kind of like a, a geisha outfit isn't it they have a pack back here and I wanted to show you how I'm sitting down the main thing is my body alignment let's see so so this involves the uh, sumo position your legs are apart like a squat and you put your hands here for support you arch your back and you put your head back and then you sit down and then you adjust the two pillows and also the pillow is pressing against the ice pack so you could, you could feel the cold better <sighs> hold on let me move the chair closer You know, the first day that I didn't sit, I don't think I sat the whole day, except when I had to, like in the ladies' room. Anyway, that day, uh oh, <laughs> I have to move this closer. Everything is such a production. Okay, adjust camera. Happy Sabbath. <laughs> so, um, surprises in life, huh? I suppose I'm going to learn wonderful things from this experience and maybe help other people with their, with their physical problems, I hope. I want to be useful and the Sabbath today it's usually days I watch old movies and of course in the, the morning I study a lot mainly the Bible but there's so many different subjects in the Bible that it causes me to look them all up and I end up learning a lot of other things do you know that this week um, I must have seen this so many times before after all these decades of studying the Bible but um, it's about underclothing you know how people say everything you can imagine or anything it's in the Bible it seems to be true and where was that I think it's in Jeremiah and it doesn't call it underwear it calls it loincloth or just well, let me see, where is it? Yeah, loincloth. It's in Jeremiah 12. Uh, the right way to say his name is Yermiyahu. Jeremiah 12, 14 and 15. No, change that. The chapter 13, 1 through 11. And the Almighty wants him to do something with that loincloth to make a point. Anyway, uh, read it, read it, and it's made out of linen. I once had uh, a couple, two patients in, in the clinic, and they came for, I don't know what they came there for, but um, they were Mormon, and I had heard that uh, Mormons wear a special kind of underwear made out of linen, you know, something like the the priests used to wear in the temple that Solomon built. Anyway, so they were very friendly and nice. They seemed to feel good talking to me. 
So I asked them about it, and they said, well, let us show you. So they pulled up the, the pant leg and showed me what was underneath, near their ankle. And it was like a white pair of tights. So these tights uh, supposedly cover everything from a uh, neck uh, to, to wrist and all the way down to the ankle. And then they told me a story about it. They said two Mormon missionary ladies were in another country and all of a sudden, um, you know, some criminals came and attacked them and kidnapped them. And they were about to um, violate their, their bodies. And they, they pulled off part of their, uh, their, their clothing. And they saw those, those white tights that go from the neck to the wrist to the ankle. And they were like, they were like stunned. Um, like, like maybe these ladies were nuns, were, I don't know, but they stopped and they ran away. So uh, that was an interesting story. Anyway, it, uh, it would be better if people start dressing more modestly. Um, you know, your, your skin is to protect you, your clothing is to protect the skin. And I was reading lately that uh, makeup, the kind you wear on your skin, not your eyes or your lips, but, you know, just all over your skin of your face, actually clogs the pores to the point that the pores react by opening up more because they're trying to do their job of secreting uh, oil on the skin to keep it moist, sebum and also to let out sweat. So this means that whoever is using face makeup is making their pores larger. And I don't think anyone wants uh, large pores in your face. So what else? What did I start out talking about? Oh, the ice and my bath. Um, as I was saying, the first day that I didn't sit hardly at all, if any, I um, I just laid down once and took a nap, but the whole day I was like, you know, pacing the house, uh, walking in place in front of the TV, in front of the computer. The next day I was almost two pounds less. <laughs> so this shows you uh, how sitting, it's not just uh, bad for our spine, it, it, it helps us um, you know, gain weight. Um, so I don't think people used to sit around so much uh, decades ago. Um, that's about it. I have lots of ideas. My problem is trying to think of one that's appropriate for today or for whatever. Trying to choose. It's like, uh, it's like mowing the yard. Which part of the yard looks the, f looks the worst so I can mow that first? <laughs>